Hi everyone, it's Rochelle with Legacy Home and Garden and I was just sitting here in my garden with my hands looking around and just pinching myself. Seriously, I three years ago wanted to start gardening and I wanted to set something up for my older age. Something that I enjoy and I wanted to garden for food for me and my husband. And I wanted to garden enough that I could share with other people in my family and others. So I really started what I call a garden to grow and a garden to give. And this year I gave several boxes of produce away to people um, besides my family and my kids and my grandkids. And then um, we added chickens. Best thing we ever did best thing we ever did. Just the best decision we ever made. Number one, not only are they enjoyable to watch and that the benefit of the eggs that we get is also benefiting so many other people. We give eggs away to a gentleman um, in a town about an hour and a half from us. We take them once or twice a week he cooks for the homeless on Sundays, and so we donate probably three, four dozen eggs a week to him. And then, um, you know, it, and that's such a good feeling. And we wanted chickens for a long time, but I was afraid to get them because out here in the country, we live on 20 acres, and we have raccoons, we have possums, we have snakes, we have fox, we have deer, we have owls, we have, you name it, we have it. And I was always afraid to get chickens that they would get hurt. And I just didn't want that. But um, once we decided it would be okay that we could protect them, so we should take the plunge and do it. I mean, we just made the decision and boom, did it. And I'm so glad that we did. Then I think about how I started gardening and I gardened in the ground because that's all I ever knew. You know, was you till the ground, you put your seeds in and you hope something grows. And joining different um, homesteading and gardening groups online, I discovered seriously that there's so many other ways to garden um, besides traditionally what we knew. Um, and so I started not only gardening in the ground, direct sowing, but I started, my husband got me a greenhouse. How awesome is that? That's why I'm like, I have to pinch myself. He got me a greenhouse. He set it up so I could start seeds in the greenhouse. And then he built me four raised beds and then he put power in and then he put water in and and then he put trellises on so I could grow vertically and the list goes on and on of the things he's done t for me so that him and I can garden together and we're absolutely loving it and that's why I say I'm just sitting here at this moment on this afternoon looking at my garden space it's the end of the summer garden so, you know, it's not at its most beautiful time. It's tired. It's worn out. It's ready to stop. It's ready for the soil to be amended. You know, it's ready for me to start putting in the fall garden, which is going to consist of onions and garlic and carrots and cabbage and lettuce and spinach and cauliflower and broccoli. Those are all the things that I'm going to plant. And um, I'm so excited about that. And how, why can I do that? is because I have the most awesome husband who works with me in the garden, enjoys it like I do, and we spend great, great time there. Um, and most recently, and I'm sitting on it right now, he um, got me the greatest garden shed anybody could ever ask for. And at the end of this short video, I'm gonna throw up some pictures of it. And now I have a place to keep all of my gardening things that I need. I have some in the garage. We have a two stall barn in the back. I have some in the barn. I have some in my dining room. I have some in the garden. I have garden and chicken stuff everywhere. And I just needed one place where I could store and keep everything for my garden, for my chickens, for all the things that I like doing outside. And he made that happen. So I just, have the best husband and partner in the whole world who's really um, come on board with this gardening venture and this fall he is going to add six more raised beds to my garden 
and he saw the amount of food that we produced this past summer was unbelievable. I mean, we got close to 40 pounds of potatoes, and that was only our second time growing them. We probably, and I didn't weigh every single one, but I would say a minimum of 50 to 60 pounds of tomatoes and um, probably 30 pounds of peppers. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And um, so we've just, and we're just learning. It's only our third season. Next year will be our fourth season. And we're going to have failures. I know we are because we do. But I just wanted to jump on real fast and say, you know, even if you don't have a partner to, you know, get in the dirt with you, because I didn't in the beginning, um, still do it. Just the, even if you don't grow a, a big garden, even if you just put a bucket or a tub outside and throw a couple plants in it, something that you enjoy eating. Maybe you love green peppers. Maybe you love jalapeno peppers. Maybe you love tomatoes. Whatever it is that's your thing, try and grow it. Just grow it and, and reap the satisfaction of you put a seed in there and it grew and now you can eat fruit. So try something, grow food, grow some food, just give it a try. Okay, that's all I really wanted. I was just sitting here looking at how truly blessed I am and feeling very thankful and appreciative for what I have and the partner that I have. And um, stay tuned. Um, at the end of this short video for a few photos of my garden shed. Thanks, guys. Rochelle, Legacy Home and Garden. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell.